Well, hey friends, I have another Christmas grocery haul for you. The one that I filmed recently, we kind of went through a lot of that stuff because we're celebrating all month long. Um, but this grocery haul is one of the last that we will do until Christmas. So if you like this sort of thing, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear what you guys are having for Christmas and Christmas Eve. I, I love to hear what people are having. When I was growing up, we did our traditional um, big dinner on Christmas Eve, and then Christmas Day, we did more appetizers and kept it really low key, and it was so wonderful. Every once in a while, we would switch that where we would have more appetizers on Christmas Eve, and then we would do the big traditional dinner on Christmas Day. So let me know what you guys are doing. I'm excited to hear, and let's get to the video. So I picked up a bag of icing sugar, which is just confectioner sugar, powdered sugar. Um, I also got some white chocolate chips. This will go for peppermint bark. I got some Truvia for my coffee, a can of evaporated milk, some sweet gherkin pickles, uh, some uh, no sugar added ketchup, which I find this tastes like ketchup in the USA. I find Canadian ketchup is very sweet. And so, um, I don't know, I just really, I really prefer the no sugar added ketchup because it's just not near as sweet. We got a big bag of apples uh, from Costco. These are the Gala apples. My daughter's birthday is on Thursday and she's requested hot dogs for her birthday dinner. So we got two different um, bags of hot dog buns to go with the hot dogs because um, we just didn't need as many I don't know, buns, I don't know, my, my husband got both those bags. Um, and then she requested the cereal for her birthday breakfast. We never get stuff like this. Um, but she asked at the store if she could have a special cereal for her breakfast. And I said, yes, she could. And this is what she picked out. So <laughs> yay for all the sugary goodness, right? <laughs> um, I got two 10-pound bags of potatoes. These were, were both $1.98 each. Um, I am taking one 10-pound bag to our city mission on New Year's Day. And I'm making them into mashed potatoes. Um, so I figured that I would just go ahead and get the potatoes now because $1.98 is a great price for 10 pounds. Um, and then the other one we'll use for mashed potatoes and things like that um, for Christmas. I got several sweet potatoes. And I just got some bananas and four packages of butter. Um, I got some frozen green beans. Um, my husband got some wine, and I got two containers of dip. And these are the hot dogs that we got. They're free from brand, and they're free from a lot of junk that you can find in traditional hot dogs. Um, the kiddos requested whipped cream for their hot chocolate, so since it's that time, I said yes. <laughs> um, marshmallows just wasn't cutting it for them. They wanted whipped cream. And we got um, four cans of these Pillsbury biscuits, and this is going to be for monkey bread um, for Christmas Eve breakfast. Just some mini baby carrots for lunches and a head of garlic. I got some jelly ham for lunches as well. We got two bags of hash browns. Um, this is a pack from Costco. It's the best deal going for sour cream. Um, so you get the two packs in one. And same thing for the cottage cheese. And we also got two half and half creams. Over here we've got, um, we got a big bag of veggie straws at Costco and then another big bag of Ruffles chips at Costco as well. The price on this is just way better than you can get at the grocery store for kind of the same price, but way more. <laughs> um, also got, uh, we got five dozen eggs. So we still have some more baking to do. I need to make rolls and um, sweet rolls and we're going to do eggs for um, Christmas day and we just have all the egg things. We've got a large family as well that will be coming over. We're hosting and um, yeah, we need the eggs. Um, and back here I've got like homemade body butter and sugar scrubs. Um, so if you're wondering what that is. I picked up a pack of Zevia and we have a ham. We're also going to do a turkey, but um, my mother-in-law might get that, but we ended up getting the ham at Costco. 
We also got some ground beef, and this was actually um, $3 off the price, so $11 for this big old pack was a good deal. And we got some mozzarella cheese, provolone cheese, and three packages of uh, cream cheese. And then two, this is all in one, but it's a two pack of the maple bacon from Kirkland brand Costco. And this stuff is amazing. It's thick cut. Um, I find that just like a couple pieces really do you because they're so thick and so delicious and really satisfying. And this will also be for um, breakfast. Okay, so here are some of the items that um, we got that are non-food items. So the first thing is this Melita pour over coffee pot. Um, our regular coffee pot kind of um, bit the dust. We don't do Keurig. Um, we had one for a while and it broke. Um, and we were just using a cheapy pot because for a long time I wasn't even drinking coffee. And um, then I <laughs> started drinking it again. Um, and we were using a Bodum, but I don't really know how to use the Bodum and my husband's going away. So we opted to go ahead and try this pour over coffee method. I've heard really good things about it. So um, it was 20 bucks. So we're going to give it a go and see how we like it. Um, the other thing I got was a hat for my son. And I got my favorite hairspray of life. I love this stuff. It is just so, so good. The trust me, the green kind, I always call it. Um, I got some primer, and I just have this Wet n Wild Matte Primer. This is not as great as some of the stuff that I use from Sephora, but this is the drugstore brand that I like to use. Um, it holds pretty well, but I do have oily skin, so um, it doesn't hold quite as long as some of the brands that I use from Sephora. But in a pinch, this is what is going to get me through, and it's good. Um, I also decided to try their um, Matte Finish Setting Spray. I really love the Urban Decay D-Slick spray. It is so good, um, but they don't have the trial size of it at my Sephora anymore. And the trial size is around $20 and it's just um, lasts me several months. So anyways, I couldn't justify spending $40 on a bottle of it. So I tr just decided to try and go with this um, Wet n Wild and see how I like that. Just, um, you know, just for the next few weeks or so. And last thing was this Boulder Clean um, bathroom cleaner. I have been falling in love with Boulder Clean. I love their um, laundry spray, like their stain removing spray. It just takes everything out. And this is a more natural um, cleaner brand. And um, yeah, I just need something to clean my bathroom. So I thought I'd give this a go. Hey friends, we finished up our last and final grocery haul for Christmas and I want to share with you what we picked up today. Okay, so starting over here, we've got a lot of the drinks. So I'm going to do a wassail and um, I needed some apple juice for that. So I got three containers of apple juice and I also needed uh, some cranberry juice and orange juice. Some of this is for a punch and some of it's for a wassail. So we're hosting Christmas Eve um, or Christmas Day breakfast and Christmas dinner at our house um, and Christmas Eve if family wants to come over they're more than welcome we'll have some nibblies and different um, fun foods to eat too so lots of drinks um, pineapple juice and this is for the punch we got some hot chocolate and Pepsi and the 7-up is for the punch and then I ended up getting some of this Caramel Macchiato coffee meat. I, mean, I have not bought this stuff, like a flavored coffee cream, in like literally four years. <laughs> um, I know that's crazy. I just usually always drink half and half, but I thought for the holidays this might be fun because um, I'm sure we're going to drink lots of coffee and let's make it festive. Um, and so, of course, we got some half and half. This is a stocking stuffer, um, and this is a really clean brand, um, and yeah, so I'm my one of my little kiddos is gonna love that. Um, we got uh, some flour, grape jelly, and this is for a sauce for some little smokies. Um, some of my favorite uh, water enhancers, tangerine grapefruit. Both are tangerine grapefruit. Um, some sweetened condensed milk, baby carrots. Two oranges, these will go, um, I'll slice them up and stick them in the punch and in the um, wassail. Um, back here is 
and some sourdough bread, and this will be for a dip. Two cucumbers, celery, green onions. So some of this is also Costco, so all the giant bags are Costco things. Um, so veggie straws and chocolate chips and some fresh sage and a big bag of Doritos. And then this is grocery store, but um, this is just an all dressed potato chip. I don't like those, I don't care for them, um, but I think the rest of the family really likes them, so we got them for them. And then we also got some of these oh, veggie crackers and these are for dips and things. Um, and we got a crate of clementines and some chocolates. Um, I'm going to put these, I have these little cute kind of little containers and they're going to go at each person's plate and I'm going to stick a few of these inside. Um, this little chocolate treat and then these, I'm not sure what will be happening with those yet, but something. Okay, so we also got um, a big bag of pancake mix from Costco. Some cream cheese, some dip, and these are the cocktail smokies. I have not seen these in Canada, um, and maybe I just, I don't know, haven't found them. Maybe they're always here, but I was really excited to see these because these were something we always had um, prior to moving to Canada, or like back in the day, we used to have little smokies as part of our Christmas Eve um, appetizer supper. Two butters and some ham. So this is for some sliders that we're gonna do on Christmas Eve. Then we also got this um, puff pastry little appetizer thing. My husband doesn't love these, but I love them. Um, so this was at Costco and it was $10. It was a better price, you get more in it. Um, it was better than all of the other stores that I found something similar at, so good deal there. And I also got these little mini sausage rolls and Cool Whip for a pie and then some sausages and these were from Costco as well. So that is our grocery haul, all the things. And I'm really looking forward to just making food for my people and having everyone over and just celebrating as a family. I'm just really, really excited for Christmas. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, if I don't get to talk to you beforehand, have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.